on the road again, whatever that, however that song goes. I really don't know. Usually, if I'm having a dream, I probably die in it, so I'm just kind of used to it at this point. And the best part is when your imagination is just like, I wonder what this actually feels like, and that wakes me up usually. So if anybody ever wonders what it's like to be eaten alive by zombies, not that great. I, I've, I had a dream once where I got my head bitten off by a lion. I could smell its breath, and it was bad. And it smelled like tuna, giant tuna. Yes, Alex. The lion's breath smelled like giant tuna. Giant magical tuna. Come to Kenya, we've got lions. More like Norway. <laughs> There is two on the planet. Nobody knows what's sitting in those uh, savanna oasis is. The watering holes. Yeah. Another, another question. What anime have you been watching recently? Uh, One Punch Man. I've also finished uh, Seven Deadly Sins the other day. Liked it. Could have done without the constant, like, boobing, butt grabbing. Played as comedy. Uh, I guess I don't really find that very, very amusing. Mm. I have also been watching Seven Deadly Sins, and I have to agree with Alex. Um,. Meliodas' uh, perversion does great on the nerves after, you know, like, maybe the first 20 minutes. Well. I have also been watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Nice. The new one, that is. Now I can super jump for no particular reason whatsoever. Seems kind of superfluous at this point in the game. Other than being faster than uh, using the bat. Yeah, soon, as soon as uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is done, I'm going to move on to Arslan Sankey. Or the Heroic Legend of Arslan, or whatever. I'm not sure I've heard of that one. Well, apparently it's a remake of an old, old manga slash anime. This time done by the lady who does, did Full Metal Alchemist. I see. You can kind of tell just based on how the characters are drawn. Mm -hmm. Super Jump. Super jump. It really would take forever to fly up that shaft. You're stuck, dude. He's like, fine, I'll go back to sitting around here. Just sitting in my cell doing nothing. Put on my thumbs. I don't know if I'd really want to let those prisoners out and like, dude, you're green. Just get out of the side. That doesn't seem very safe to me. Wait, isn't an S dock like a. kind of like a rapier? Similar, I think. I don't know. My only knowledge of that comes from like Dark Souls, so. Whereas in Castlevania, it's apparently a two-handed weapon.
<laughs> German thrust sword. Darn it. For all that money, I don't actually really need. Not yet, anyway. It's, it's like a friend and a half friends. I always thought this little touch was kind of neat. I think it kind of has a silhouette of uh, something more sinister if you angle it right. What, the statue on top? Yeah. I couldn't tell. Yeah, it's going to have to get it at the right angle. I didn't feel like sitting here for five minutes trying to do it. <laughs> so it's basically a big, big rapier. Probably to use against dudes on on mounts. Which kind of puts it in perspective because uh, I think Valhalla Knights drop them. Sword cover. Ah, yes, the sword familiar. Oh, back to the chapel. It's like, look, the PlayStation can do polygons! Basically. Look, it goes into the background for no particular reason. Well, that was the whole point behind that one mid-boss in X2 or X3, whatever the fuck it was. Hey, look, the SNES can do polygons! Drag polygons. So basically a thing that Franz wouldn't like. Which is funny because Franz himself uses a right here. Uh Shit, I don't want the Bible. I'd rather just stick with the holy water. Sup, sup, four locks. All the rocks. The L comes before the R. Four locks or four locks. You you were saying the same word. O L R O X. And then I turned into a big scary green monster for some reason. Yeah, that is a little weird. Kind of strange that holy water doesn't do it. Just stand there. Well, does like 20 now, so not even. Really. And then I can shoot mouse lasers. Cause reasons. Nosferatu's all like, this isn't even my final thing. Well, now I can go get the uh, spike break armor, although I could have done that before. Just would have been riskier. It would have been risky boots. Tits McGee, as I call it. Titties. Alright, what's, what's the next question? 
What's a good way to get started on the Yakuza games? I will put an annotation in this video with a link to the uh, a set of LPs for you. Also, I'll put it in the video description link. They're not really LPs, they're just a... Uh... A dude playing. Well, there's still LPs on what is that, long play or whatever? It's not even a long play, he cuts out most of the gameplay. It's basically just videos of the cutscenes. Well, cuts out the running around town between loading screens. The only thing he doesn't cut out is occasionally bits and pieces of fights. Which is the, pretty much the best <laughs> So it'll be quick, quick and easy until uh, probably about the end of Yakuza 2, and then you can probably safely play 3 and 4 and 5, now available, all available, well 5 recently available. Shut up, man. Everybody should play them and reward Sega for doing good things. And then continue to yell at Sega for doing bad things. Like not localizing PSO2. Fucking bastards. At this point, I'm like, I don't even really care anymore. I'm still salty about it, but I don't really care anymore either. I think they localize it great. If they don't, well, fucking whatever. I'm salty, but I don't want to play it anymore. We didn't even get Fantasy Star Nova. Although, from what I understand, it's not even all that great anyway. I was just excited for a new uh, single player Fantasy Star game. But even those hopes were dashed, but it turned out it wasn't really very. Wasn't all that great. Really, I have expounded at length upon things that I enjoy in this stream. And the best you can come up with is saying I hate everything except pizza and beer. Well, you do like pizza and beer, so it's true. I like pizza and I like apple cider. I don't like beer. Don't you drink, like, lime... But you drink Budweiser with lime or something? A long ass time ago. So you, you, you don't hate beer, you just don't drink it. I've come to find it rather disgusting in general. Yeah, let's see. Overall favorite comic book superhero, Flash Thompson. Well, tie between Flash Thompson and Spider-Man 2099. Mayday Parker, next question. What are the three games you're looking forward to the most this year? Uh, Street Fighter V, Fire Emblem Fates, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Mankind Divided. Yes, Mankind Divided, sorry. Rainbow. Bash sonar, yes. So for me, I'd say, uh, Shantae, Half Genie Hero, uh, Mankind Divided, and. There's one other thing coming out this year that I really want now, I can't think of it. Is it Twilight Princess HD? No. <laughs> it is not Twilight Princess HD. I don't know what it could be then. There's a lot of stuff coming out this year. I, I can't remember. Sure it can. So I... I don't know, I guess I'll just say Rise of the Tomb Raider. Because that's coming out this year for everything except the dog box. Because it's already out for the dog box. 
I don't know, I feel like if the PC version was coming out soon, the PS4 version would be out pretty soon, too. Well, the PC version is coming out in, like, ten days. The PS4 version is pushed back until, like, October. Hmm. I'll probably end up playing it on, uh, PS4. If I played it at all. I thought you already had played it. I never actually, like, put it in the dog box. Like, so you, you got it off of Gamefly, you let it sit here for weeks, and then you sent it back. Yeah, basically. Why did you even bother? I thought I was going to play it, and then I didn't. That's kind of kind of how kind of how it works. This is why I don't want Gamefly. Well, I got sidetracked with uh, going through my backlog, so... Spikes. All the spikes. If only this were a power in Mega Man, Jesus Christ. Well, it kind of is. You can ignore spikes once. Break, break not even spikes. remotely the same thing. Well, it's better than not breaking any spikes or taking damage from spikes. No survivors. No witnesses. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, still not the same, though. And everything there I covered. Gaia armor and what, the ninja armor? Shadow armor? Yeah, shadow armor. Let's see. I think that was all the new questions that were presented today. Hmm. I'm trying to remember everything that comes out this year. I could Google. I mean, theoretically, I could just like bring up my uh, my game fly queue because that kind of covers most of the things I give a shit about. As soon as I log in, let's see here. Let's see, twenty sixteen game releases. Mario and Luigi game comes out this week. Yippee skippy. I thought you liked Mario and Luigi games. Kind of uh, been jumping the shark for a while. Well, Partners in Time time sucked, but Bowser's Instead story was good. Sticker Star suck. But that was more of a Paper Mario game. Mm, whatever. There's a difference between the two. It seems like they're just kind of phoning it in for everything. That and sticker stars crappiness was kind of Miyamoto's fault. A great many Mario things have been phoned in recently. Well, 3D World was good. 3D World was good. It was... Probably the best Mario game on the, the Wii U. Well, in all fairness, there was only, like, what, two more? Well, uh, let's see. New Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Luigi U. I think that was it. Okay, let me amend that statement. It's the best Mario game on the Wii or the Wii U. I oh, you like Galaxy. I didn't like Galaxy. Galaxy 2 was good. 
I didn't like it as much as I have liked other Mario games. I, of the two, Galaxy 2 is the one that's actually worth purchasing. Well, I got Galaxy 1 because it was like 5 bucks. Fire of Bat. Pretty, pretty low on the list of things bats are capable of doing. Oh, all that, all that map coverage. Constant map checking. Probably fly down there and pick up that stuff that was on top of those pillars. Probably. After I fly up here and get this one little tiny spot. Well, I didn't mean to actually use Hellfire, but whatever. Ice Man, Shaman Shield. Some other sword that I didn't really, really catch. Oh, duh. Huh? That was like Dark Souls 3 comes out in April. Really want that. So that's like at the top of my top three. Let's see, the new Ratchet Clank game comes out in April. Star Fox Zero comes out in April. Uncharted 4 comes out in April. I am fucked in April. Oh, yeah, that's right. They changed uh, the push direction Clank up, didn't they? I thought mm -hmm. it was coming out in June before. Well, apparently, it's April now. My wallet will be crying in April. Yeah, mine too, actually. Let's see. Pokemon tournament comes out in April for me too. And I'll be uh. The what you call it for the Lane Riser remakes are coming out then. I'll give that a whirl. Then it's then then basically nothing really really after that. I plan on giving Battleborn a shot, but it might change my mind. Right, I need to go get the uh, the other ring. I don't know, not preferably before April. That leaves you like two months. is just taking his dear sweet time there. Angles. Mathematics. Trajectories. Something else done to show off the processing power of the PlayStation, no doubt. Also because there was a thing in uh, Castlevania 2 that they decided to bring back. Ah. Uh. Ham and eggs. Bonk. Boink. This could pass. Yeah, I'd hope so. I also find it funny that in this form you could still break sp break uh, spikes for reasons. Yeah. Who'd walk through spikes? So, did you find Victor? How did you get here? I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. 
Really? So he is here. But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. Or so he claimed. That can't be true. You're wrong. I I must go now. Thanks for opening the path back out for me. Break more spikes. I was going to say, are you seriously going to leave that whole ceiling unbroken? No. That's more like it. Oh, got that one spot I have to have to uncover. Delicious meal tickets. Nintendo claims the new Zelda game is going to be out sometime this year, but somehow I doubt it. Well, haven't they delayed it like twice already? Yes. Well, there's possibilities there. There's a remote possibility that Mass Effect Andromeda is going to be out this year. Would be oh. Skippy. I want it. I need it. I need it, man. Yeah. Uh huh. I said I need it, Matt. Yes, I see you <laughs> groping your man boobs. The new Nier game is going to be out this year. Possibly. Need that too? Yes, we do. <laughs> we get Wind Waker. We get, oh, rather the Triforce Hunt. Well, mm -hmm. Although, honestly, if they delay the new Zelda anymore, it's going to be on the NX or... I wonder if they're actually going to give that a real name. Well, yeah, the NX is just the code name. As long as they don't do another thing like they did with the Wii. Yes, if they make it the Wii 3, I am going to fucking kill somebody. At least it'd be a, be a better name than just Wii U, because that doesn't really tell anybody anything. Yeah, everybody thought it was another fucking attachment to the original Wii. Or they could call it the, uh, the Super Wii. If, if the word Wii is involved in any way... I am going to kill something. Ultra Wii 64. They need to get rid of the fucking Wii name. It's just confusing people. The Wii Dong. Hmm. I would totally go for the uh, Ultra Wii 64. Why does this list have Resident Evil Zero HD listed as unknown release date 2016? Out of date. Poorly updated. All of the above. I, I would have to agree, considering it's already out for preloading on Steam now. Fucking Sonic Boom game. Maybe, maybe it'll actually be good. I, I, I would not hold my breath if I were you. <laughs> I really should watch more of the show because that show is pretty good. <laughs> Just that one clip. I, I, I remember that. Definitely made me made me think of us. The uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't just stand here and watch Eggman's base get destroyed. You're right, Sonic.
You realize that nobody can see you. Either. Yeah, but it was for your benefit more than anybody else's. Tragically, I'm not... Well, I don't know about tragically, but I'm not really... <sighs> God damn it, Fawn. God damn it. Next time on Radical Bromance. Ukulele. That's supposed to be out in 2016. Oh, really? Apparently. Huh. Well, we'll some, see. Something else for you to look forward to. Yes. Next time on Radical Bromance, more, more wandering the castle and map coverage. Any, anything else on that list? <laughs>